Hello everybody and welcome back to Anadonia. How the hell are you? I am the Drifter and welcome back to Outcast Studios. Pretty sure I said that in the wrong order, but who cares? But yeah, welcome back. It's probably not been that long for you, or perhaps it has, depending on when this comes out. Uh, but it's been a while for me since I last recorded an episode of Anadonia. Um, and to be honest, I kind of missed it. So I'm back, and now I've got to finish what I started. Yay. All jokes aside though, before I can finish what I started, I, have to, I actually have to figure out what it is I left behind, because it has been that long that I don't remember what the last thing I did is. Uh, although I believe, if memory serves me correctly, I last left off um, with one last part of this place to finish, although it is very dark in here compared to what I remember. There we go. So either when last I left off or between episodes, I can't quite remember, I did set up this conveyor belt system here, designed to mimic the conveyor belt system on the other side of the room. Now this was set up in a way that would allow both a redstone and glowstone, I believe, to enter this system. Uh, alongside the exiting of what I believe to be the 4 million storage component uh, from this here autocrafter, which would then all funnel through this one singular tunnel here, which would then pass into here and separate the 4 million component and the glowstone and redstone, which would then come down here, once again separating off the 4 million component and this time the glowstone so that only the 4 million and redstone could come through here and then further separating the 4 million through here which means that the only thing allowed to pass through this side was the redstone. Or well, judging from this filter here, the glowstone too. Admittedly, I can't quite remember how this system works. All I know is that when it was designed, it was done so in a way that as you can see from these spruce drawers, would void anything that came through. And again, if memory serves me correctly, that was just a temporary measure of stopping this system from, you know, destroying the server by dropping an infinite amount of items on the ground. However, quite confusingly, as you can see, the system seems to just not be functioning, and I'm not entirely sure why. You see, this part looks to be working fine, the redstone has funneled through here, but nothing at all is coming through this side, and if I right-click these tunnels, there's nothing in them. Which begs the question, why is this not moving, when it so very clearly should? Better yet, if these are so eloquently sorted between redstone and glowstone, why is there, a, why is there then a mix? over here that really shouldn't be there. I believe it's the glowstone that's stopping things from going through, although now that I'm trying to pick it up, this one really doesn't seem to be leaving the conveyor belt. Let's try removing these. That one worked. What about this one here? That one also worked. And as it goes through, we can see that it sorts redstone and glowstone. What will it do the second time around? Let's have a look. Redstone and glowstone. Okay. Uh, this is a double redstone, so I'm going to assume nothing here and a redstone here. No. Now that is interesting. That's very interesting. You see, they're now both going through this one, redstone and glowstone alike. Let's see what happens when the redstone and the glowstone reaches here, shall we? The redstone seems to be funneling through this tunnel, despite being allowed through this one. Nothing is coming through this one, so it looks like... Yes, the glowstone and the redstone are coming down this lane here. It's then, yes, I was correct, it's being pushed into the right lane, or I guess the left, depending on which way you're looking at it. What's confusing is why only those four were allowed to pass through. Why aren't these passing through? In fact, better yet, why is there redstone on the glowstone only line? Oh, hang on, I believe I know what happened. I'll check that in a second. I just want to watch this first. You know, for the amount of noise this contraption is making, it isn't exactly moving very fast. Well, let's see, nothing can go through that side because it's full. Uh, but the redstone is going this way. What about the glowstone? That's also going to go this way, so it's not exclusive. The redstone passes through here, as does the glowstone. There we go, and the redstone comes out this side, which it's been marked to, and the glowstone comes out this side. Okay, so now onto what I think is happening over with these here. Let me just find where the hell I put my wrench. Hey, hang on a second. I left one of these uncovered. Oh, heathenous. I must fix this right away. There we go. And of course, the set of goggles I was originally going to also make. And I- oh. Right. Forgot about that. I can't actually wear them. But what I can do 
is make it look like I'm wearing them, thanks to my buddy, Cosmetic Armor. I can still be wearing my gem helmet with my night vision, but it makes it look like I'm just wearing a regular pair of engineer's goggles, and isn't that sexy? And it turns out I was both right and wrong in my initial hypothesis of why this isn't working. The main reason isn't because of this, even though this is what I suspected it was. I, I've set it to synchronize outputs, which means it will only allow it through if it's going through at the same time. The reason it's mixing like this is because I've actually put the filters on the wrong side of the tunnels. You see, the filters belong on the output, not the input. You should be allowed to input whatever you want into whatever side. The output is what decides what goes where. So the reason these aren't going through despite them being correct is because on the on the input, it's specifically asking for glowstone, not on the output. What I've got to do, I've got to mirror this, okay? So this one has got to be... Uh, let's see, if this one's redstone, that one's already set to redstone, I've got to remove these filters and add them on the other side. So give me this set of redstone here, let me put that there, and then what I've got to do, put that back on there, pop that filter, grab the glowstone, pop that filter on this side, put it back on, and pop that filter. That is going to allow stuff to start coming through on the correct lanes and then it should all divert into this single lane right here so redstone glowstone there should be another redstone and then it should be glowstone there we go just as i had suspected and i set it to synchronize output so that it would alternate so that neither side would get too backed up oh i am brilliant truly a master at work but yes judging by the fact that this output has the four million in i was wrong earlier that one over there isn't producing the four million that one is the one million this is the four million which means the one we're about to build is the final one and since since it's the final one, and since this next one is going to be oh so easy to build, I say we put it off. Okay? You've waited a while. You've waited a very long time, don't get me wrong. And you have earned the payoff. But there's something I've got to do first. Something that the game didn't like me trying to do last time. That it really needs to learn to be a grown-up about. You see, despite these conveyor belts here actually moving, I don't believe I finished setting up the actual charging system for this uh, device, I guess you could call it. I'm bad when it comes to names, they all, they're all interchangeable in my mind. Because we have one set here, perfect and uncharged, and ready to be thrown into the grindstone to make Soda's Quartz dust. This side, however, that for some reason is not outputting anything, because it's already empty, um goes along here and does something or other that I've admittedly forgotten. Did I finish this? If I did, that transition was going to be very humiliating. I might have finished this, actually, and I might just have completely forgotten. Well, there's certainly only one way to find out. Oh, <laughs> speak of the devil, in it shall appear. Here we go. I, I get my chance to see if things go through the system or not. Uh, although, might be a little... Hard to see, all things considered. I think we're better off watching the output line more than anything. Which I believe may be being bottlenecked by the funnels, but uh, put that to one side for now. There! Down there, you can see they're charged. It is working. And it is brilliant. Okay, see the output's coming along here. There we go. It should be going up there. If I can race it, maybe I can catch it going into the system. And here it comes. Straight through. I guess I was wrong. I guess I did finish this part of the system and I just didn't remember it. That means if we fly over here, I should start seeing it just get immediately deposited into the barrel. Where it then gets turned into 1k drives, where it then gets pushed through. Oh, I love me. I mean, automation. I love automation. But even if I did end up finishing this device, which... I, again, it's been that long, I genuinely don't remember if I did this on camera or not, or if it was supposed to be a time lapse, or if I'm just... Whatever. We didn't finish this side, because as I showed you earlier, we have all of this Surtis Quartz ready and raring to be ground down. So what we've got to do now is we've got to take it to ground town. And I think the easiest way to do this this time around 
is a direct delivery. Although before that, I am about to starve to death, so let me go and fix that. Now, I have a choice to make here. I can either wire that system back into this part of the system that would let then launch it through onto the conveyor belt, and then it would take it through the rest of it, or I can take a conveyor belt from the output of that nether barrel, netherite barrel, and march it directly to the awaiting arms of this conveyor belt here. And to be completely honest, as much as I love the whimsy of the launcher, this just kind of feels more sensible. Then again, that would mean building new infrastructure, which I don't particularly want to do at this point. So... Launcher it is! Which means whatever output comes from that second netherite barrel has to input onto this conveyor belt here. And I think that can be arranged quite easily. I'm just now realizing I have none of my items except for what's in my backpack, apparently, because I still have this with me. So I need to grab some building supplies. Oh, I don't even have my pickaxe. I've just realized I don't have any of my items. I can't do anything without my tools. I, I really have to find them. Did I leave them in the basement? And I found my tools. Oh, dear lord. Side quest after side quest. Why is all my stuff nearly broken? Let's go repair that first. Alright, let's hope I don't hit anything important. While normally I wouldn't take myself as, as being quite this efficient, I think in order to just sort of, I guess, cut down on space used and to make my life easier as I do this, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to allow charged and non-charged Certus Quartz to come through the same input, which, don't get me wrong, is probably going to severely put a, a strain on just how quick that stuff can be delivered. However, comma, it does mean I don't have to set up an entirely new conveyor belt. All I've got to do, clear this out, direct this one instead of through here, through here instead, which, I mean, yeah, sure, it might look a little weird against the corner of the wall, but who's really going to be staring at it from this angle other than staff? And it'll allow me the easiest possible split for where I need it to go. So let me just set all of that up, and then I shall get back to you as soon as possible. No! Why? Right then, assuming I set this up the way I would set up any and all of my other projects, I should just be able to plonk down a brass tunnel here and have this work with no issues because I would have thought something like this through. Or, or at the very least, I've got to have hope that I would have thought something like this through because I don't usually put that much faith in myself. Is there any way I can remove this and have nothing break? What do you know, it's my lucky day. I can connect these together using a shaft, or two, and then all I have to do is add the brass tunnel here. Now, I've got to very quickly apply a non-charged filter to that, otherwise it's going to put charged quartz through there, and while that isn't an issue because the system will still function, I personally don't want to grind down non-charged, fully charged Sodas quartz. There we go. Now only non-charged Sodas quartz can go through this hole. But just to prove that it works, if I throw this on here, it will take it through the entire course on to the launcher, where it will then fire to exactly where it needs to be. Ala this conveyor belt. That's where I put my brass casing. Let's add another tunnel here to cover the wall, just so we don't have a giant gaping hole going through it. But now that that infrastructure is placed, I've got to put the final touches on this system. That being, I've actually got to feed the non-charged Certus Quartz into the output line of the charger, which is very easy. All I've got to do is this. Last one, it's gonna look a bit ugly, but who cares? I mean, you look at yourself in the mirror every day, this can't be much worse than that. There we go, brilliant! And the final finishing touches, the icing on the cake, if it were. 
I would probably use, actually, yeah, I can use andesite funnels. I was going to say I'd probably use andesite funnels for this, but guess what? I have them. So let's use them. Let's put one here to output the regular non charged Certus quartz onto this conveyor belt, and then let's put this on here to allow them access to the pipe system, the funnel system, the chute system, whatever the hell you want to call it. Oh, for God's sake, how? Now you, I don't know how the hell you got in here, how you got into my machine where you are inevitably going to mess it up because that is your one goal in life apparently, but I despise your very existence, I hope you know that. How the hell did you get in? Oh, that's how. No more zombies in my farm. I'm not even sure how you're supposed to spawn inside of the equipment, but given that you have and will continue to do so, I'm just going to mob-proof this place anyway. Oh, you can spawn on chain drives too. How adorable. I hope you die. There we go. That should be mob-proofed now. Never mind. Anywhere else you can spawn. Anywhere at all. Speak now or forever hold your peace. Right then. It appears we're safe. Nope. Can't see it, isn't a problem. So, we're back down here, because it is finally time to move on to the last slash second to last, depending on who you want to talk to, part of this machine. It's been a, it's been a mini-series and a half. I originally thought this was going to take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, potentially eight episodes. Turns out it only took about three. Joke's on me. I put too much stock into this. But either way, surely you know the drill by now. So without any further ado, Let's get building. Tunnels go down. And now, to apply the filters. And while I'm doing this, I might as well fix the one over there, too. Okay, looking at it now, when this sinks up, it should let it go through. There we go, redstone's going through. Gonna keep going through, and then when it hits there, they should both come onto the same rope. Good. Okay. I think... Think I fixed it. Emphasis on the think. Maybe I haven't. God damn it. That is not what I had in mind. That is also not what I had in mind. Okay. Things seem to be thinking. And I think it is working. Right then, last thing I should be should have to do, should be able to do, yada yada yada, is this. And everything should fall into place. I forgot to hook the scoreboard up. <coughs> everything except this top part is finally set up. So, let's finish. And with these final two blocks... Never mind, there's a third one that I forgot. With these final three blocks... Ah, uh, never mind, there's a fourth one I forgot. And with that final fourth block, it is with great pride and exhaustion and overwhelming satisfaction that I get to say that we have done it. If we check inside, we have gotten three 16 million ME storage components. It has been a long and exhausting road, but we are finally at the end. Finally, we have the final component, the thing that we have been trying to get this entire time, what we built this entire factory line for, and it's done. It is finally done, and the only thing stopping us from making a million more is the fact that this first one, for some reason, is struggling to get a single goddamn 1k storage drive. So you know what? No, I'm not satisfied with just that. If we're doing this, if we're finishing this saga, we're doing it properly. All it needs is a little extra help from an old friend. And with those watches set up, as you can see, things are already starting to speed up in the House of Mouse. But more specifically, what we need to do now is we need to speed up the original farm. We need to speed up the thing that is producing this quartz. And I mean, we were already set up to do that. We just dialed it back a little because we didn't want to break things, but uh, I'm in the mood to break things. Now this, this is what true power looks like. And now if we take a look inside, we can see that production is indeed back online. 
All we have to do is wait for wave after wave to flood into our machine, and little by little, they'll go off to charge, and then they'll go up, up, up into their chute. And look at that. They're even taking it in turns. How cute. And of course, by bringing Anadonia to its knees, as we can see, we get ever the more quartz coming through the system. And with more quartz coming through the system, well, that just means the more 1Ks that we can produce. And the more 1Ks that we can produce, the faster this machine over here goes. And I think to make sure we don't get backed up on this type of quartz so that we can keep the system moving even more, I think we should grab ourselves another one of these here drawers. Because you see this, this is the sign of a backup. And we don't want that on a system like this. Which means we need those circuits up top to be flowing all the time. And in order to do that, well, they've got to have somewhere to go. And void upgrade, and final brass funnel. Unfortunately, you won't be able to see the front image, but that's fine. Because no one's going to pay attention to that. There we go. A void storage upgrade, meaning that this thing will forever tick over, which means this thing will forever be spending, which means this thing will forever be requiring Surtis Quartz. And we won't get such a big backlog. And while I could finish there for the day, I could call it there. I want to finish this, finish this. We're making the final thing. And with this final funnel here, just flip it around so that it outputs the iron. All we've got to do now, hook the final crafter and arms up, add the final barrel on the side, and uh, obviously add the redstone and glass. You know what? Maybe I started that speech too early. I, I, think, I, I think I might have started that speech a little too early because there is so much more that needs to be done. Okay, so now there's only one thing left, and that is to plug the board and the claws into the final windmill structure thing. Oh, and the, the f barrel. I'm not even sure how you are allowed to exist within my walls, but rest assured I will wipe your bloodline from the face of this earth for daring to desecrate my air with your f presence. Oh, thank God for that. It's finally started turning again. Okay, that means, fingers crossed, this thing is actually working. Oh my God. God, I forgot to plug this part in. Are you serious? God, I'm so stupid. There we go. And now the official nothing left to do final part 65. Last thing that we've got to do before this thing is complete is we've got to put this brass funnel right here. Oh, did I forget to plug you in as well? <sighs> if adding this extra mechanical hand freezes the system by overstressing it, I'm actually just going to quit. Okay, good, it didn't, which means it should start crafting. Oh my god, it did it. It actually did it. A 16 million ME storage cell. Zero of 16,777,216 bytes used. Zero of 63 types. I'm gonna take this goddamn cell. I'm gonna take all of these goddamn cells. Every last one of them. There we are, all three. And I'm gonna go plug them into our computer system. Oh, and look at that, the miracle of hope. It has turned to face us for this very moment. So let's put one in, two in, three in. And would you look at that? Set heard a witch. And look at that, they're green and they're ready to be used. Everything we could possibly want, we can now just throw in here. <sighs> this has been a long time coming. Anything and everything that you want to clear out of your inventory can just go straight back into the computer. Oh, that is good. That is brilliant. Right then, let's end on a good note. Obviously, our work here is still not done. The very next thing I want to do, there you are, I can see you, witch. The very next thing I want to do as soon as we start the next session, we are clearing out that chest monster in front of our base. It has been there for too long. But yeah, if you want to see that, then obviously you're going to need to stick around. And if you want to do that, you better make sure you leave a like, a comment, and a subscription. And in case I don't see you in the next one, from me, it is good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and good night. See you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye. Bye-bye.